Hi everyone and welcome to OVC. Today's presentation is going to be a quick five minute overview of the Kibbutz Israel program. We're going to chat about what is a Kibbutz, first of all, and hopefully entice you to be able to go onto the program and tell you a little bit more about what it includes. Let's first start off with what is a kibbutz? So a kibbutz is actually a really difficult um, thing to explain purely because we don't have anything of the sort in South Africa. However, the word kibbutz is a Hebrew word. It does mean collective or group and community. And I suppose the best way that I could describe a kibbutz and to put it into some kind of South African context would be it's almost like a farm with a, a housing estate on it. So it's a piece of land um, where a whole lot of people live. And on that um, land, there is um, housing for all the kibbutzniks. So people who live on a kibbutz are called kibbutzniks. And then there will be a shop, um, there will be a main dining hall, there will be a main kitchen, um, there will be possibly tennis courts. There almost always is a pool, always, because it gets so hot in Israel. Um, and the kibbutz itself will probably have either one to three streams of income. And the, the, the profits from the income pretty much are used to be able to sustain their community. So everything gets shared out and everything gets um, uh, put back into the kibbutz itself. So you as a volunteer are going to be volunteering your time and volunteering your muscle um, because you're going to be working as on the kibbutz itself. And in exchange, you are given food and accommodation and opportunity just to be in this really unique environment where you get to learn hopefully a lot about more about what the kibbutz is, probably, um, you know, understand the whole concept a lot better and obviously get to meet people from all over the world because it's not just South African volunteers that go and work and volunteer on a kibbutz, it's people from all over the world as well as obviously from all different sorts of people from Israel itself. What does it take to become a volunteer on a kibbutz? Well, it's actually quite easy. Age-wise, you'd need to be between the ages of 18 to 35. Um, this program is for guys and girls. We can place South African and EU passport holders only on this program. You'll need to be medical, medically fit. Um, so that is due to the fact that you're going to be, you know, doing lots of um, main, uh, I would say, manual labor, so to speak. So a lot of the work that you're going to be doing is going to be pertaining to um, hard work and uh, physical work. You'd need to have an HIV certificate um, and you would obviously also need to be vaccinated against COVID. But I think the biggest thing is you'd need to really have an open mind. You'd need to keep in, in the back of your head that this is a, a community, a communal environment. So you are going to be, as a volunteer, you're going to be living with other volunteers as well. So you have to enjoy people. You have to be interested in other cultures because you are going to be surrounded by people all the time. So just to obviously keep that in the back of your head um, because um, it's definitely something that um, will help you when you are on a kibbutz. Benefits and inclusions of the program. So this program, for me, the biggest benefit is that you only need to commit for a total of a minimum total of four months. The maximum time you can stay on a kibbutz is up to 12 months, but you don't have to decide now. So you just have to commit for at least a minimum of four months and you can decide when you're actually in Israel on the kibbutz itself if you feel that this is going to work for you. I can tell you and let you in on a little secret that generally nine times out of 10 people end up extending because it really is that phenomenal. Um, and it really is something that's really truly unique. Um, but um, it, yeah, so you, you, you can obviously decide between four months and 12 months. You don't have to stay for a minimum of four max um, uh, and, and it's, it's not like four or 12. You can extend for however long you would like to extend, but the maximum extension is a total of uh, 12 months.
Your housing is taken care of. So like I mentioned in the beginning, your housing and your meals are taken care of as well. Um, it will be shared accommodation. The, sti the stipend is pocket money. So you're not going to be earning a salary as such, but you'll be earning a stipend, which is just another form of, of pocket money. So you'll be earning a little bit of pocket money, but you shouldn't really have any expenses anyway, because you're going to be working and living on the kibbutz anyway. So the stipend that you're going to be earning will really go for like your personal um, uh, effects, things like that. It will also include your medical insurance, so you will be covered um, in case something happens to you whilst you're on the kibbutz. The kibbutz also runs sponsored excursions for those people who've been there for quite a long uh, period of time. So in exchange by you giving your time and your energy and your uh, hard work, in exchange they also give back in various different ways, and one of them is the sponsored excursions. Um, you're going to have quite a bit of time off, so there'll be time for you to be able to um, take leave, so to speak, so you can go on a like a week break, etc. Um, and just really nice opportunity for you to maybe take like a, a six month to a 12 month break um, if you are wanting to go and explore Israel. Um, believe it or not, it's quite a small country, but it has a, it's packed with lots of things to see and to be able to do. It's quite easy to apply. Um, you're looking at, I would say, from time of application to actually going, anything between two to three months. It's quite an easy step-by-step -step, um, uh, process as well. You apply with OVC. Once you've applied and you've submitted your application, you'll have a screen um, a pre-screen interview with our partner that we use in um, Israel itself. You'll get a pre-placement before you go, so you'll know exactly where you're going to and which kibbutz you're going to before you leave South Africa. Um, you do your visa application. You uh, Once your visas come through, you book your ticket. Um, and from there on, you would then be able to make your way onto the kibbutz itself itself. Cost-wise, you're looking at a total of approximately 30,000 Rand. So all in all, you're looking at a total cost of 30,000 Rand for up to 12 months in Israel really is quite a deal. Um, you don't spend all of that money or you don't pay all of that money up front. You would then first pay a application fee. Once you've been accepted, you would then pay a program fee. And the rest of that, those funds is everything else included. It would be your ticket. Um, it would also be um, any kind of um, uh, career fees, et cetera. So all of those costs are all included. If you are, just quite something nice to mention, if you are wanting to travel, then it might be, um, well, it is recommended to then take a little bit of spending money over and above that. Um, but if you feel that this program speaks to you and it's something that you're wanting to do and something that you're possibly wanting to explore, we will have another um, a presentation where I'll be chatting about the kibbutz in more detail. Um, but please also feel free to reach out to your closest and your nearest OBC office so they can be able to help you along with this great adventure that you're about to take. Thank you so much. And I hope that has given you some better indication in terms of what the kibbutz program is about. And we hope to see your application soon. Thank you.